Hey everyone, it's Rad, and I want to thank Keen for they are the sponsor of this video. And don't skip ahead, for I do have a special and exciting announcement to uh, make, including a very, very special gift for anyone who is watching, which I will get to it a uh, soon. For those who doesn't know Keen, this amazing website provides you with an access to a vetted psychics, spiritual advisors who can provide a guidance and insight in into life's challenges, into clarity in love, into relationships, and as well into career and, and many, many more. And Keen, it is a one of the most uh, affordable way to get an instant psychic reading with a professional at any time, 24 seven. What I love about Keen is that it is perfect for anyone who wants to talk with someone right away, anytime, anywhere there is no wait and it is excellent if you do have a burning question that literally needs an answer right now and it is double perfect for if you are on a budget too and here is where my gift for you guys is coming in for anybody who wants to talk with advisor on keen just click my link in the description down below and you get a 10 minutes for just only two dollars and just see for yourself for i do support keen and i have been around the block a lot when it comes to um psychics readers and especially prophets and i can tell you that there are those who are false but uh judging by the way keen found me i can tell you that they are venting their uh advisors uh, very carefully and you i do encourage you to try it out especially if you do have questions that i cannot answer like for example about health like for example about a reallocation because Saro is just not designed for that uh, for example as well yes or no questions as well guys it's only two dollars for 10 minutes and i cannot think of a better way to try it out and uh, get the clarity you seek so there are a uh, tarot readers, psychic readers, uh, love and relationship advisors, and as well spiritual advisors there. Uh, and you can take your time to make a selection of the reader of your choice, establish a bond, which is going to establish as well a goal, be it a uh, intention setting, be it a, a chakra clearing, be it healing, manifesting, and many, many more. And what is also amazing there is that Keen provides every customer of theirs with a monthly discount, which is a um, clearly a way to show you that they do appreciate you being there and it also provides you with a way to afford multiple readings should you need so the signing up process very simple i'm going to show you how all that you have to do is just watch my screen very few simple clicks for their website it is made intuitively and it's just you cannot get it wrong and just in these few simple clicks you are get yourself ready to make your selection of uh, readers and dive into your spiritual journey right away so to use my gift just click in the link in the description box and get your 10 minutes with a keen advisor of your choosing for just only two us dollars and and see for yourself how amazing they really are with the variety of their uh, advisors and as well the prices which have a ton of variety too should you be on a budget thank you keen for sponsoring this video Pisces, welcome to the channel guys and uh, in this video we're going to check into your week uh, February 28th up until March 6th, uh, 2022nd and uh, I do want to apologize in advance if I do sound a little bit off uh, that is because I do caught a cold unfortunately uh, other than that if you do enjoy uh, the content here on the channel and you do wish to support us just leave a like subscribe hit the notification bell so you do not miss any of our weekly uploads as well live streams and uh, with that said uh, let's uh, check uh, what your week is going to be like
So first one we do have, and that's a great starter here, the three of four cups, uh, followed by the second card of your spread, which is going to be the knight of swords, uh, followed by the seven of wands. Uh, moving next, uh, we do have uh, the six of pentacles, and the last one of uh, your spread, that is going to be the ten of wands. So uh, what it seems like uh, is that in this week you're going to find... Well, in my language, we call it a similar soul. It's like a, a, a person who thinks like you think, who, uh, hold up, who thinks like you think, who likes what you like, uh, who pretty much is uh, <clears throat> more, or, more of the same that you are as well. And that uh, literally starts here at the very start of the week with the Three of Cups. That is the moment where you are capable now, or rather like able, not capable, but this time around, you are literally able to connect with everybody around, to connect on the emotional level and express your feelings, express your wishes, your desires, your view, your sight, your vision. And what do you know? I mean, you will see that you do have more in common than not with people or with the people who are important to you, not just only important to you, but with people who are important to your future as well. And that's why under the energy of the Three of Cups at the start of the week, it's very possible that you are going to forge alliances, not just only one. One is going to stand forward more than others but you are going to make a lot of a uh, alliances or you will have that chance should you wish to do so okay you are not obliged but it will be great if you do forge as many alliances as possible now this card as well it's very positive when it comes to already existing relationship guys uh it, it pretty much means that at the start of the week you and your partner are going to see each other together like you are gonna see the future exactly uh that, not that oh my god why i'm so why am i struggling to express that <laughs> all of the same it's like the way you see the future it is how your partner sees the future and therefore that's why the three of cups is very common for engagements because what is the future if not an engagement right of a, a current relationship moving forward and on a more practical level with the three of uh, cups, uh, should you have some enterprises that are carrying on from the previous week or from the previous couple of months, you are now about to see results of this enterprise. And you will be assured that you are doing the right thing and that you are on the right track with those enterprises above everything else. But like I said, one of these people that you can make alliances, partnerships, friendships, relationships with is going to stand forward and that is the knight of swords uh, which is catalyzed by the full card and we do have a active supporters into this elemental dignity so what kind of a person that one is well they are a very practical people practical in the sense that they do not uh, kind of like fly in the cloud nine they do not daydream they are very objective and they are their mind is set on what is right now they do not concern themselves with what can be in the future so they're trying to make the most out of the current situation and that is the beauty of it because what they see in you it's actually a potential for whatever intentions they do have whether it is a business intentions uh, friendship intentions romantic intentions etc etc and uh, the, the 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 good trait of the knight of swords it is that they're very forthcoming it's kind of like when they see the potential they're gonna straight away address it it's not like a situation where you are to be played with and as well how can i put it into words where you are you have to guess what they want to say and etc etc it's just these people they come about and say look i like you do you like me or not so i just want to know so i know how should i move forward with with my romantic life they come about and say look i like your business i want to be a part of it this is what i can offer 
do you want to make business or not? So I know how should I move with my business moving forward. That kind of a people they are. And uh, finally, they do not do that with any surreptitious intentions, kind of like a, uh, you know, they, they don't hide anything. Um, the Knights of Sword, it is the only court of sword that actually takes emotions under consideration and their uh, actions, or rather like decision making, as much as it, it is a logically supported, so what they do makes sense in general. It also is consulted with their feelings and with their emotions, so it makes sense and simultaneously is what they want to do. Which is the beauty of it. Say they, it makes the most sense to them to be your partner in something, and in the same time, it is what they really want. So that's a faithful companion in my book. And by the way, as we do have the four there, that is a guarantee that they are innocent and pure. Okay, their intentions are the most pure intentions out there. And uh, right after that, though, we do have the Seven of uh, Wands. And that's a little bit of a trouble, Pisces. Because you have been chosen by that person. But another one, that it is undisclosed by the cards, it's not going to be happy of it. And it is not disclosed because for some of you, it's going to be that they're not happy because they want to be on the place of that Knight of Swords. For others, it's going to be because they want to be at your place, okay? But either way, we do have a competitor here. Now this one, with the Seven of Wands here, okay? They do not play fair, by all means. <clears throat> it's like, uh, for them, the winner takes it all. It doesn't matter how they win. All that matters is that they win. And with Seven of Wands, uh, very often, or more often than not, these people, they kind of like try to make a cheap shot by spreading uh, untruthful statements about you. For example, if you are now forging kind of like a romantic relationship with the Knights of Swords, this third party will try, will try to slander you that you are not faithful, that you are always cheating on your partners, or that they will try to slander that person if they're from, if they want to be at their place, you know. And, and it is just, the here is going to be, when you do hear a negative aggression toward either you or toward that person knight of swords you have to face it critically and you need to triple check it before you confirm that it is true uh, should that regards to them should that regards to you though you have to challenge this incorrect information straight away because otherwise it escalates a very 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 quickly here the seven of wands just like this person is guarding their position this is just as much as you need to guard your position okay and i do believe that you will be managed to do it because we do have the six of pentacles afterwards and six of pentacles it's not that big of a card at least not for you i mean it's not that active card for you although it's a big card because the only thing that it states uh for you pisces it is that things are gonna move in uh how can i put it into words well for the lack of a better word i'm gonna say natural way and that comes from the hierarchy of the card okay it is just there is a hierarchy in it it's the uh, the rich man and the beggar or the merchant and the beggars and it is just everything it is where it belongs okay the rich man with the money the beggars on the street there could be an exchange in between them but as but alas tomorrow the merchant is going to be a merchant the beggar is going to be again a beggar so there is no change whatsoever and that is a, a symbol of that everything is going to set into the place it belongs at least for now so you with this person is going to do exactly what you are uh, what you belong to do or rather like what what you are i don't want to say destined but what you are supposed let's yeah, let's use that word so what you are supposed to do whether it is again business or whether it is a relationship and, and there is going to be that beautiful exchange in between you two and uh 
it just is going to be smooth okay it's just is going to be a very very smooth under the uh, energy of the six of pentacles and at the end of the week though things are taking a little bit more serious turn and when i say serious i don't mean like bad serious i do mean like serious like a important way of moving forward because that the, the ten of wands into that follow-up it may be the moment of the vows like you are vowing uh you are to vow for for example that you do love this guy or that you are never gonna do business with anybody else like you do business with them and and so on and so forth that is the card of the promises or at least this is how i do see it in this way you do take on a promise you do burden yourself with that promise with these responsibilities just like as this man is trying to hold on all of the wounds and wounds are a symbol of a power passion and responsibilities so so <clears throat> you're having all these passions, all these powers, all these responsibilities, which you signed up for. That is important to be said. That person signed up for this. He can just let go of all these ones, right? But he doesn't because he knows that it is worth it. And so uh, these are all of your responsibilities and passions. And it may feel a bit demanding, okay? It may feel like you signed up for a bit more than you can chew up and swallow down. But that is not the case, okay? Because uh, you can handle all of that and at the end of the day is going to bring you a great rewards because that is what at the end of the day the result of the 10 of ones is whether those results are in your love or in your business so with that being said pisces this was your weekly general tarot reading guys hopefully you do enjoy it and you do like it and we are to see each other next time until then bye